Yo, yo, yo. Whoa. What is up, everyone? Ah. Sorry, just messing around here. What's up, everyone? How you guys doing today? Today, I am your host. You guys know the deal, the real Zenzima. I thank you guys for tuning in to the, uh, I don't even know how that goes. It's so damn late, but everything is sidewalls today. But thank you guys for joining in today on Chatting with Zim. That's right. This is episode number 114. I am your host, the real Zenzima. And uh, thank you guys for joining in. Today we got a very, very awesome guest all the way from the uh, east coast, east side of the uh, the Sears Tower or the uh, whatever the hell, Willis Tower, whatever the fuck it's called now. But... We, uh, if you guys haven't seen him, uh, we got a special guest, Rip Cycle. That's right. You guys heard about him first at Live with Seven. So uh, make sure you guys are checking out the homie, uh, Live with Seven. He's also doing these awesome interviews. And uh, as well, right now, I think we got uh, the other trio, um, Dead and Laughing. So check him out as well. Uh, definitely good shit. As you guys know, I usually host on Sundays, that's a Saturday. Uh, late night show that way we could get uh, the homie rip psycho in here he's already uh ready locked and loaded ready to go uh, i want to say thank you for everyone who's joining in thank you all for coming on and supporting and we also uh just a reminder we got two other shows coming up uh this is episode 114 we got 115 tomorrow at 2 p.m central uh we got tone deaf guy and then on monday that's right, you get the three-for-one special. On Monday, we got uh, DR Valencia uh, Designs. He's going uh, to be coming on, talking about uh, Celestial Night, his comic book, which is uh, about to come out pretty soon. He got a startup coming on the, uh, the 15th, so watch out for that. And, uh, yeah, these next three shows, hopefully they'll be pretty good. Uh, if you guys missed it, the last show we had, uh, that was the, uh, the episode 113. That's when uh, me and Della News... Uh, make sure you guys are following him as well. Uh, that's the little bro right there. You know, we had our first show, and uh, the last one was just talking about uh, everything we were doing, right? Well, how, to, how to go, give you some tips on, you know, things that I learned from my first show. And then right before that, we had the uh, the homie uh, Ernest, Tropics Art. So check out those shows. And, uh, yeah, um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's uh, bring in the guest of honor here. Uh, if y'all joining us uh, right now, then thank you guys for uh, coming in. It's uh, it's about to be a cool one, a nice one. I gotta you know keep a little quiet. People are sleeping, but we'll see how much uh, how much noise we can make, right? So without any further ado, guys, uh, let's go ahead and bring out the homie uh, Rip Cycle onto the show. And uh, as he beams up into the mothership, make sure you guys are checking out Monsters Art Clan as well. Uh, check him out, Art Clan brother Della Noose. Uh, he's in the house. Con artist graphic design as well. Make sure y'all hit up the Con Drawn show. And uh, yeah, man, always uh, never a dull moment with them guys. So what's up, Rips? What's going on? Bro? Well, hello. My fault. I didn't want to interrupt your little intros. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to let you finish your show. But yo, I'm solid. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, man. I got. I, I always got to do these little promos, man, right before. That way I let the people know, you know, and I don't have to worry Hell about yeah. it later in the show. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Respect, respect. Yeah, yeah. So, man, here we go, man. Hey, man, first <laughs> of all, uh, thank you, bro, for uh, my crazy fucking schedule here. Oh, uh, no, hey, man, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so flexible and, you know, talking to me about it. Thank you. That was really nice. Yeah. Word, word, man. And, you know, the thanks go right back to you, man. I It was... Uh, Long story short, you know, I was going to be out with the family, and I was like, shit, I don't know if I'm going to be making yeah. it in time. <laughs> and then I was like, ah, okay, I think I can make it, so let's do this. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's it, man. We're here. We're live. Yeah, and, uh, I'm here. That's what is up, man. So so what's going on? How you been after, or how you been so far, man? How's 2021 treating you? Man, 2021 has not been that bad, actually. I mean, you know, the pandemic and shit, but, you know, as far as, like, this whole art career thing, you know, mm-hmm. it's all right. <laughs> no <laughs> word, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. How's the um, how's the art game treating you in uh, this year, man? 
Uh, this year surprised me really well. Um, I I didn't think I would get the traction that I have now. So mm-hmm. with all that going in line and now with people putting money into it, it's you know kind of like holy shit, this is really happening. So before I even invest into anyone or partner up with somebody, I want to really make sure like I like I do my homework and I understand what I'm getting myself into. And, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I just yeah, make yeah. sure that, like, if I do go this way and I say fuck the nine to five, I want to make sure that I am doing this shit correctly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah, dude, for sure. Yeah, that's that's how it's got to be done. Y'all taking mm-hmm. notes out there? <laughs> ah, go, go, go. all right, there we go. And yeah, man, uh, everybody else who's joining us, who's uh, coming in, I see, I, I see some new peoples in here as well. Uh, Juggernaut Twelve, shout out to him. Love for Morocco or Marco? <laughs> Morocco. It's late night, y'all. That that's my excuse tonight. It's night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're uh, we're here uh, with the homie uh, Rip Psycho in the house. Uh, definitely uh, starting off the show, man. Episode one fourteen, chatting with Zim. Make sure y'all checking out Rip Psycho. Give him a follow. Give out the homie, man. Yo. What are gonga? So rips, man. Um, yeah, man. Like I said, I uh, at the top of the show, I was saying that uh, I first seen you or uh, heard you, um, back with the homie live with seven, man. How, how was that, man? Uh, how's how's that going for you? That how's was that actually show? really fun. Uh, I I enjoyed doing that. Like it was really fun to like talk to someone. And, you know, like I didn't know seven when I did that interview. So like going in and talking to him and getting to know him. And that was, like, my first step taken into, like, talking to someone and, like, working with someone. And even after the show, like, he was like, yo, bro, like, you know, you were cool. You're dope as fuck. I love your art. And I was like, bro, like, that's what's up, you know? Like, that was really cool to have that that sort of connection with someone who does the same art style but promotes it at the same time. So that's really crazy. <laughs> no, yeah, man, that, that, that's what's up, man. And for y'all that don't know, if y'all haven't uh, been following Rips already, um, then yeah, man, make sure you guys go check them out. Rips <laughs> underscore psycho, S Y K O, sick ass graffiti artist. Man, I don't think I've asked you, bro, but uh, you don't have to tell me exactly where you're from, but like, yeah, give or take, uh, what's around that area, man? Well, what states can we find around there? I was born and raised in Los Angeles. That's what okay, I'm that's what's yeah. up. Yeah, I'm an LA nigga, you feel me? But coming out of that. <laughs> Uh, that shit was cool. Like, I know a lot of people could say that they hate growing up in the ghetto or that, like, that shit really fucked them up and now they in this situation. But to me, as much as I hate that place, bro, I do want to say, like, without that shit, I wouldn't have found graffiti. You know what I'm saying? Like, L.A. really just birthed that spark for me. And uh, I talked about it more, like, on Seven Show, but uh, what's it called? Like, just, just that area alone was enough to, like, get me up and looking around. And the first time I was exposed to it, just... I just took off. Oh, just man. been drawing letters, yeah. Cause, cause just been drawing letters since I was 14. Because I did anime and stuff like back in the day, you know? Like, yeah. like I did Dragon Ball Z. I did, like, Pokemon and shit. But uh, um, growing up, towards, like, the middle school, high school area, I started, like, looking at the walls. And I saw graffiti. Like, I saw people writing, like, you know, like, fuck the police or fuck this dude or whatever, whatever. But when, yeah. But then like, when you look up and see someone like on a billboard or like on the bus and they have like a little throwy or even a slap or something, that right there was just, I don't know, man. It just sparked something in me to just go try to feed it. All right. All right. Well, that, that's, pre- that's pretty dope, man. And uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to take it in because it's like, um, you know, my experience with graffiti was a little bit different, right? Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, was this something? Let me. How how could I ask this? Um, shit. Um, was it something that uh, that got that that pushed you into it, or was it more like, hey, it's just the round, and I'm gonna see. You know, like, 
what I'm, uh, man, I don't know how I'm, I can't phrase it right now, man. It's the late night show. Remember, that's my yeah, excuse. Yeah, no, no, yeah, fuck yeah, up is the late you. night show. <laughs> but it's it, all good, man. But it's like the environment influenced you in your art, right? That's what popped yeah. uh, the graffiti. Yeah. When you made that initial contact to start doing it, was this something you picked up by yourself or were you kind of like motivated by other people? That's a good question. Actually, like that's the first time someone's actually went in depth with it. So thank you. Bro. That was good. Um, I, yeah, like I didn't grow up like, you know, there were people who have like well-known writers in the area because, you know, I'm from LA and Los Angeles, you know, if you're from there, you know that all the graffiti there is just gang shit. Like there's okay. no like, like there's no like, I write Chuck or I write this or whatever. It's just like, nah, this is CVS area or this is CV12, SB7, you feel me? Yeah. So that was the graffiti that I saw and like, I was like, eh. You know, like, it's just bullshit. Like, it's just territory shit, so I'm not going to pay attention to it. Uh, but, okay. then when, but then when I moved to Long Beach, uh, I started my middle school years there. And I I think, like, I was drawing, like, fucking anime, like, some shit at the time. That I was, like, still trying to find out what the fuck I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I was good with the pencil. I just didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do with it. You feel me? Yeah, so, yeah. So... Like, fucking, this story is crazy because, like, I was walking home and, like, the bridge that I had to take to cross over to get to my block was, like, under construction, so I had to go under the bridge. So when I walked under the bridge, that was the first time I saw graffiti there. Like, actual real graffiti. Yeah. Like, like, dope shit. Like, when I went under there, like, there was, like, fucking block letters. There was, like, throwies, some tags and shit. And I was like, whoa, this is some new shit. Like, this ain't no gang shit. Like, so you know what I'm saying? Right there. Yeah. yeah, I was like, whoa, like, this dude's name is this. I was like, wow. And at that time, people was writing, like, so-and-so was here, so-and-so was here. I think that was the trend back in the day, or at least, like, in that area type shit. So, like, you know, I would see someone whose name was, like, Chuck or, like, or, like Pluck or some shit, and I'd be like, what? And I took that home with me, but I didn't think anything of it till like, a couple years later when I started practicing it. And when I started practicing it, it was just like, oh, shit, I could do this, too. So then mixing it with the anime and the graffiti to where I'm at now is how far I've come with it. All right. All right. See, th- that's 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 kind of what I wanted to ask, because I was I was just like um, since I since you did say L.A., you know, it's very. You know, the graffiti there, uh, well, it depends what scene you're into, right? Because there's two yeah. types. There's yeah. the ga- gang graffiti and then there's yeah. the hip-hop graffiti, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so for me, yeah, I mean, you, you, I, you know, I didn't want to assume it was all gang graffiti. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no. Hey, yeah. like, if you're assuming it's all gang shit, I'm pretty sure if you go walk down any block in L.A., anywhere, except downtown L.A., because in downtown L.A., they have real graffiti. But if you go to, like, Inglewood, Watts, Compton... East Compton, fucking Northside Hollywood. If you go to those areas, yeah, like all you're gonna see is just gang shit everywhere. So all right, like, don't go to those areas. Like, stand at those. No, <laughs> no yeah. word up. And the reason I ask because I mean, you look at your page, bro, and you're 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 full of nothing. It's just nothing but hip hop shit, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, this ain't you no know, gang graffiti for all you graffiti illiterates out there watching this. Right, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Yeah. Let them you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. There's definitely a difference in in, in the tags and what they th- what you know they throw up. I wouldn't consider myself a graffiti artist anymore, but you know what they throw up and shit. Yeah. So, you know, being LA, that's fucking mecca for for gang shit, right? Yeah, pretty much. And uh, man, dude, there. I well, well, tell me, tell me more. Tell me, tell me. Uh, keep 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 on with your story, bro. I I mean you. For all you guys that missed out, we're, we're Rip Psycho. He's telling his uh, origins of the story, you know, when he uh, he was growing up. He was into, uh, <laughs> you know, that that manga, that anime, Dragon Ball. And then eventually yeah, he ended up, yeah, he ended up uh, taking the, the road home, a long way home with the trolls down there. And bridges yeah, pretty and much. Shit. <laughs> I came across Man. this graffiti paradise, man. Yeah, like, just, I don't know. 
like I never really got a chance to, like to talk about it with somebody before, or just like to someone like who like would pay attention and shit. Yeah. But, like honestly, like my story is no different than anyone's story who's coming up in the artist game. You feel me? Like I like I see no difference. Um, like I hold everybody respectable. Like who's at my level? Like you, bro. Like fucking. I saw your shit, and I was like, bro, I can't do that digital shit. Like, I've already tried. Like, if you see my page, I have, like, one digital shit on there. <laughs> That's all I got. Like, my shit is like, damn, how we do the little shiny mirror shit? And I'm over <laughs> here like, yo, YouTube and that. I, I promise you, man. Well, dude, uh, man, I'm, a, I'm an open book, bro. If you ever need pointers and anything, you know, I'm here. All you got to do is just DM me. Be like, hey, bro, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm an easy cat. I mean, just... Don't come in selling shit to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. I feel uh, I mean, trust me, I get those people. It's like, <laughs> hey, man, dope art. I got some art too. Want to buy some? It's like, no, fucker, get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even I answer to them people. All right, right. I feel that. Man. And, uh, dude, uh, I didn't even ask before we go uh, uh, any yeah, further, good. man. Um, are you primarily here on Instagram? Uh, can we find you anywhere else? Uh, well, I'm mostly on Instagram. I did have a YouTube channel that I didn't delete, that I only have one video on there, but I'm right. not going to put that name out because I want it to remain unknown. You feel right. me? Like, if you find it, you find it. And if you don't, then it is what it is. You know what it I mean? Is. But, uh, so but yeah, mostly right here. Like, like all my shit, like, all my business, my emails, all my shit is just handled through Instagram. Like, all right here is so you can find me. All right, there, there we go. Uh, I also seen on the uh, right there on your profile, bro, your RGDs and outriding. Yeah, huh? huh? Yeah, them's the boys. Yeah, so make sure y'all check them out. Yeah, the shouts out to RGB, shouts out old dub crew. We here all day, you feel me? Uh, RGBs, okay. I've been with them niggas for like two years strong. The love oh, was up. Uh, like when I came into that crew, I like I really wanted to help build that because there was a lot of real people in that crew. And then when I was introduced to O-Dub, I found out that these niggas out here, they move in silence. So that's one thing that I wanted to pick up and learn. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I really think that, like, learning from people is the new school method to how to get the fuck up out of here. Like, wow. I really feel I really feel like that's, like, that new shit. But, hey, I'm crazy, right? Like, it is what it is. Yeah. Steven says, I tried to practice, but can never find my pencil sharp enough. <laughs> Psycho is beast, they say. Damn right he is. <laughs> that is that, that's why he's on the show. I'm all right. I'm all right. You, you good, homie. You good. <laughs> Appreciate uh, it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bro. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep going with the story, man. You know what? What? Um, how, you know what? Now's a perfect time for the question. Uh, I read it right. earlier by uh, Wens NYC. Shout out. You said, what was someone uh, you looked up to during that time? Damn, like, when they came to, like, doing my, like, oh, man, there was, like, at, at least, like, 20 niggas I was into at the time coming up. Like, because I didn't know any graffiti artists, but I did know mm -hmm. artists that, like, who did cartoons, who did comics, you know, who did, like, like stories and novels and shit. So before I came into the graffiti world, I was watching shit like, like in the cartoon world, I was watching shit like Pokemon, uh, Fairly Odd Parent. I was watching SpongeBob. Uh, what else? Okay, okay. I was watching a, a, a show called Kolioko. And a lot of those kind of cartoons or little pieces inspired me to like, you know, let's go try to draw that like a little cat demon or a little anime character. So cartoons I was into were those and then coming into the graffiti game like understanding who was it and who wasn't. I had no influence coming into the graffiti. Like I did all my shit like at the library. I used to go to like, like I, like, I went to the library to look at skateboarding magazines to look at the graffiti on the pictures mm. to get yeah. a reference. Yeah, you feel me? Like, like I didn't want to go outside and look at all that gang shit and put some shit up and I get in trouble or I get shot or stabbed, you feel me? Like, I'm not stupid like that. So I went to the library and I did my you know, my research on, like, some skateboard magazines, surfing magazines, uh, like, 
fucking BET awards. You, you know, like yeah. anything hip hop. Yeah, you feel me? Like, like anything you find that said hip hop on it, I was on that shit. And they had that's those, what gravitated me. Uh, my my bad, man. They they had those graffiti uh, magazines back then too, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I think, I think the ones that they had, like like at least in my library, like if you go down seventy fourth and fifth in Inglewood, there's a Los Angeles, like library. That one right there. Mm. Uh, I went into that one, and they only had like three or four magazines of like skateboarding and like like you know like urban shit. Like that was the closest thing that I could get my hands on. It's a graffiti was that shit. You feel me? So I was there like almost every day getting any type of influence, any type of like reference I could look up, go home, copy. And I did that for years. You feel me? Like I did that for at least two years. And then like I I stopped. And then something was like, and then I was like, yo, like, like I'm just copying shit. You feel me? Like I'm not really doing anything with that. So eventually like, Instead of getting the magazines, I would get like the how to draw anime shit. Mm, you yeah, know, yeah. like like oh like like how to draw the face and then you put the block for the body and you know what I'm saying? Like like actual yeah. real, you know, tips and tricks to help you with your drawing the shit. That shit got too hard. I said, fuck that. Like I can't do that. <laughs> for real. I said, fuck no. Like these niggas over here drawing shapes and blocks and curves and sketches yeah. of the eyes and I'm just like, What the fuck? Like what? So I was like, you know what? Let me go try this graffiti shit again, but let's try it again the right way. Then yeah, yeah. that's when I went on YouTube and found out about people like Scythe, people like Dope. Uh, who else was on YouTube at the time that I was watching? Just uh, mainly some, those two YouTubers. Uh, someone asked earlier if you knew somebody. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Uh, do you know Weckman? Weak man. Uh, nah. <laughs> nah. 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 Okay. I don't know. Maybe he's a name out there, some some graphic out there. Yeah, uh, he's he's a he's a well known graffiti writer, but like he has like a YouTube channel and he posts it all on there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, they're they're also asking, have uh Strips is asking, have have we uh have we asked your age and Taking it by the um, <laughs> taking it by the cartoons you watch and you mention, man, uh, I I think you're a younger cat. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, I, I grew up with uh, I grew up with like Turtles, Power Rangers. Uh, That's my era. You yeah, know, you're talking no, about SpongeBob that. and you know yeah. all these, these yeah. new cartoons. I feel that. Shit. So that's that's I mean, how we could kind of vary the age yeah. bracket, right? Yeah, I mean, like, also back in the day, like, I was into Pinky and the Brain. I watched a lot of, yo, I watched a lot of Spider-Man and his amazing friends when he was with Phoenix and Iceman. That was my favorite cartoon. That one was, like, the one I stayed up to watch on Boomerang. That was my shit. Sweet, sweet. What, uh... What about the name? How how did you uh, lean towards the name? Psycho. Uh, okay. uh, so, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, Rip Psycho, like, there's an actual meaning to both of those names, but uh, before, like, like before I even went with Rip Psycho, uh, I, like, I went by, like, S-Y-K dot O. Like, I thought that was cool for a second. Then I went by Psycho 1, and then I was like, that's just kind of plain and simple. Uh, like, bro, like, that's a long story. And I don't think I want to waste all the time when I was telling it like that. But it, it's a long story. All right, all right, all right. Or, like, I'll say this. Like, long story short, Rips, uh, that whole name, Rips, every letter in that name stands for something. Uh, that's the name of my brother. Like, he actually passed away when he was an oh. adolescent. Yeah. And then Psycho. Hey, rest in peace, bro. Yeah, no, that's all good. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, and then Psycho, uh, that name came up to, like, like, I feel like that name came to me because, like, I was, at first, I was writing Psycho because I thought it was cool. You feel me? Like, like, there was no reason to it. There was no fucking meaning. I just thought Psycho was a cool play on letters. I was like, ah, check it out. I'm a badass. I'm writing Psycho. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then one day, like, I was having trouble, like, making new letters. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong? Like, bro, like, I'm trash right now. Like, I can't do shit. 
And then my sister comes up and she's like, yo, what the fuck is that? I was like, that's my name. And she goes, what the fuck is that? And I was like, that's my name, Psycho. And she goes, what does that mean? And I straight up looked at her and I was like, I don't know. She goes, damn, that shit sounds whack. Like straight up to my face. She was like, damn, <laughs> that shit sounds whack. And I was like, what the, f-? I was like, I was like, what the fuck? She goes, yeah, bro. Like, that's not the one. And she's like, I think if you're going to have a name, it should like, mean something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't just write something because you think it's cool. Like, you know, like, write it because there's meaning and you fuck with it. And I was like, you know what? I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, well, I don't know what to start. And I don't know where she just goes, well, that sounds like someone you know of. And mm-hmm. right there, I looked at her and I was like, holy shit, that works. Someone you know of, S-Y-K-O? I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, that works. And she goes, actually, yeah, that does fucking work. And next thing you know, I was like, that's what my name stands for. It stands for someone you know of. So when you, sh- so when you see my shit, you know that someone you know was there. So I was Damn. like, yeah. So like, That's that fucking dope. dope. That shit is dope. Yeah, damn. That 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 is uh what is that called when uh is that an acronym? Mm-hmm. Or when a word stands for something and it's you yeah. know it's like NASA, it stands for some shit, you know? Yeah. Uh yo shit, man. Someone you know of. Damn. That's dope. I wouldn't have thought of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. That's what's up. Uh, Strip says, I grew up with uh, no cartoons, grew up with Menace to Society and Boys in the Hole. Oh, I have that shit too, man. I came up on like Half Baked and Friday. That was my shit. Yeah, you know, he's saying, Strip says, we risk freedom for it. Damn right, man. What is going on, Tez? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, when, when I go, um, when I was coming up, dude, I uh, the reason I got into graffiti back in the day, man, was uh, I used to be boy. I used to be boy back in whenever you know, uh, when I was yeah. younger. And uh, at that time, I already drew. I was drawing mm-hmm. shit, right? So I got into mm-hmm. high school, and that's when I met everybody else. I, I talking about all the all the b boys, the graffiti artists. Yeah. You yeah. know, wow. I go into, that, and so we go into like the four elements, right? Because some of my yeah. boys rap, some of my boys got into DJing, you right, know. And right. and eventually, you know, I was like, oh fuck! I, I told one of my writer friends, I'm like, hey, hook me up, gave me some letters, my first alphabet, right? And ever since then, I kind of, you know, I I think I did it for about five, six, seven years uh, wow. until I stopped. And then, yeah, I, long gone, bro. That's in the past. Yeah, but, I respect for putting them years in, bro. You said six, seven years. That's what's up. That's but I really can still dope. do it, right? I think, Hell yeah, bro. bro. Hell so, yeah. So, so that's what's up. And, like, I was going to ask for you, I mean, it's graffiti. Um, did yeah. you ever do anything else? Did you ever, like, b-boy and shit or any other uh, of the four elements of hip-hop and shit? Or what? What's up? Uh, like, I mean... Mostly graffiti was the shit that I was into. Like, when I found out about the elements of hip-hop, the shit that got me, like, interested, like, I fucking love music, bro. Like, I, like, I can't go a day without music. I got to have some music or some beat playing in the background of my earphones. So, uh, like, beatboxing was something that I got into. Like, that shit was cool. You feel me? Like, I did that for a couple years, but then I stopped because, you know, I grew up. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, but, like, you know, uh, as far as that goes, just that, like, mostly what I've been into is a lot of, like, art. So graffiti is, like, my best friend, bro. I'm, I, I'm never letting that shit go. Shit, shit. Uh, what is that? Uh, eat it, breathe it, and shit it? Huh, you're right. Wow. Eat shit and breathe it, something like, something like that. I, it's late night, guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cut us some slack here. That um, sounds good. Shit, I, I wanted to ask you, man, uh, as far as graffiti goes, yeah. um, do you have a preference in, in cans? Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, back in, well, like, I don't want to say, like, I was a graffiti writer because in actuality, like, I wasn't. I just did it for, like, 
six months and then I quit. Uh, but when I used to go out and ride tags, uh, I got the double XL cans. Those cans right there would like it's like four cans in one fat can. And if you have the right stock tip, or like if you have like a like a fucking Lego dot or a pink dot. Or even the fucking New York. Well, like, the New York app is, like, my fucking favorite. That shit's probably, like, my go-to. That and the Lego. But, uh... The New York the and the Lego? XL. Yeah. But the but the double XL fucking fat can that lasts you, like, at least, like, half the night. Just, bro, that shit is... That can is fat. So, that shit was cool. Strip says, uh, kills cans. And if you if you guys are writers out there, let me know your favorite can, man. What do y'all use? What do y'all prefer? What's something that y'all don't use? You know what I mean? All right. How about your? Uh, well, you you just mentioned it, man. Your favorite cap. That was gonna be my next question, bro. <laughs> That's what's up. I like. See, I, I I love it. I love it when guests come on and then they talk and talk and talk. Right? <laughs> There's something that you just yeah. got pull teeth and shit. Yeah, man, that that that's the best, man. Appreciate it. Thank uh, you. For sure, for sure. Uh, what motivates you, bro? Damn, that's man. I mean, that, that's kind of a tricky question because, like, you know, I could sit here and be the gullible nigga and say, "Oh, this nigga on Instagram is fired." You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> for me, bro, <clears throat> when it comes to the graffiti and the whole art shit, and then, uh. It's like a switch, bro. Like, one day I'm feeling it, and I'm, like, I'm busting out, like, 50 slaps. I'm feeling good about myself. And then the next day I'm just, like, like on my desk, just, like, writing in my book. You feel me? Like, I'm not feeling it the next day. So, like, oh, right, right, right. Or, the, or, like, the next week I'm still not feeling it, and I'll be watching a movie or something, and, like, a song could pop into my head. And that shit gets me going, like, oh, that's a nice beat. And then it makes me want to, you know what I'm saying, do some work, you know? So right. it's kind of an on and off switch. For me, but like when it happens, it's gotta be like, I don't know, like just the right moment, I guess you could say. Like okay, if that makes okay. sense, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I I get it, bro. I I definitely get that. That's what's up. Let's see. Uh, some of the people are saying they per- uh, <laughs> Jeff Garcia says he prefers the twenty four ounce of Bud Light can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm right there with you, man. Right there with you. Uh, King Ganga <laughs> says the dollar cans from Home Depot. Those are cheap. Those are rackable. Big Sky. <laughs> Look at this guy. Cocaine motivates me. Yeah, dude. Okay, the cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> One second. Oh, that's what's up, man. Strips, man. Send me a DM, bro. Remind me, send me a DM. What up, Pez? And Notorious Pez in the house. And I also seen Phalo Halo in the house as well. Thank you guys for stopping in and everybody else. Oh, that's what's up, man. Uh, you know what? Um, right now it's it's about halfway during the show, and usually halfway I always come out and uh, we talk about the tools, man, the tools of the trade, right? Uh, right. As far as like uh, stuff that we could see on paper, man. What do you? Um, I see you're a big fan of the two two eights, right? Well, what graffiti? Yeah. You know, it's like peanut butter and jelly, right? Two two eight yes, slaps, sir. right? Right. Um, what other, um, you know, what other materials do you use? What type of markers are you using? You're working with, you know. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. What yeah. type of, yeah? What type of papers besides the two two eights? Are you just the two two eights solemnly uh, on there, or do you do bigger pieces? You know. Right. Oh uh, shit, bro! Like I, I try to fuck with like every type of material I can get my or that I can try to get my hands on or I can buy. You feel me? Uh. There's there's lots of shit that I've shown before, but I don't show it as much because it's not as popular. But uh, uh, if you guys are watching who are like a fan of the graffiti sticky game and who know about the two weights and the DHLs, and uh, I got this German one from a trade I did with Lenz. He sent like he sent like a German blank of the DHLs. Oh, he sent like five of them. Yeah, he sent like five of these things. And then he sent like actual D uh, actual DHLs and like there's a lot of stuff that I can choose from whether it be something like this from the Bart Simpson doing a tag to something as simple as like a yellow background 
to the Lisa Simpson. Like, there's there's a lot of shit that I can hit up, but uh, my favorite one I would have to say is obviously the two two weights. Yeah, bro, them bitches right there. Yeah. Blue labels and shit, you know. And... <laughs> Fuck. Damn, I didn't know I had so many of these. That's fucking dope. And uh, what about like, uh, like markers and stuff? What 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 do you use the most? Oh shit! As far as markers, I'm using everything out of the rainbow, my brother. I'm using sharpies. I'm using Posca's, Molotov, Copic, Style Files, Sharpie pens. I even got fucking whiteboard markers right here, bro. Like, I'm telling markers? you, bro. I, 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 I got, oh, I got whiteboard, the whiteboard marker. markers. Yeah. I thought you said whiteboard, whiteboard. markers. I'm like, what? My bad. <laughs> I like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> My fault. But yeah, dude, like, those shits, I got like, the sick. cheap $1.99 permanent markers. You feel me? Like, bro, what is, like, if I see a marker, I'm taking it. What is something uh, you don't recommend as far as like marker wise goes? Ah, uh, shit. Hey, Shake, it's, it's, it's late night, bro. It's late night. I thought it was a white boy uh, marker. <laughs> That's going to be the name of the show, bro. The white boy marker. Yeah, damn. Fuck it. Damn, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would say uh, don't go for the deco markers. Don't go for, like, the Walmart brand markers. You know, even though they say paint on them and they have, like, $2 and they give you, like, eight markers for, like, four bucks. Like, don't do it. Don't buy those markers. No, those ones are fine. Those those sharpies are fine. Yeah, those ones are good. I'm talking about the markers that have like a black, like a like a black case, and it just says paint on it, which is painters. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't buy the painters markers. If you buy those ones, you're not gonna go far. You're probably gonna waste your ink. Don't do it. Sharpie markers, these ones right here, they're like seven bucks for six markers. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. What else have we uh, have we missed on this? We got markers, we got paints, we got papers. Oh, talking about papers, man. Are you Indica or Sativa? I am a little bit of both. Right now, mm -hmm. I'm smoking on, uh, I think this is a hybrid, actually. Okay, it's okay. called Crybaby. Yeah, it's like sour diesel. I'm sorry. This is sour bubble gum. My fault. Well, well, where are my chronic smokers at? Let me see them hearts, man. You guys love that <laughs> green? Let me see them hearts. Yeah, man. I like hearts, dude. I have a sensitive-ass fucking body, so my shit takes a little hit of that, and I'm just like, ooh, I'm fucking Done. faded, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know what? Um, dope, man. I'm sorry to cut you off like that. Um, no, it's all good, man. Hey, this is your show, my boy. What the hell? <laughs> that's right. That's, <laughs> that's right, man. That That is fucking right, man. It is my show, right? <laughs> Uh, we had another question, man, from the homie con artist. He said, uh, what made you pick up the pencil and what was that one piece you had to draw? Damn. Okay. So, like, if we're talking about when I first, first was like, I'm going to start drawing. Like, we're talking about that. Uh, my grand, okay, yo, shout out to my grandma, my bro. I love my granny. Uh, my grandma, a trip out, she used to work as a security guard at the mall. Uh, we used to live in a trailer home. So mm. my grandma used to, like, work at the mall. And she used to, like, be a security guard for, like, this, like, little toy store type shit. Uh, and one day she brought home, like, the Inuyasha figurine and a Dragon Ball Z, like, comic book. Or, I'm sorry, like, the manga. And she was like, hey, here, they were throwing this away. Uh, I know you watch Dragon Ball Z, so here, take it. And I got it, and I was like, holy shit. Like, when I opened the book, and I saw Goku doing the motherfucking, like, the the fucking Kamehameha and shit, and kicking the yeah, shit out yeah. of these, I was like, yo, this this motherfucker is right here, bro. <laughs> so that right there, like, dude, like, yeah. Like, I would rip out pages of my notebook, put it over the actual picture, and copy that shit. I'm telling you, bro, like, mm. I'm telling you, man. I, 
I was so fascinated on how they put that into a book. You know, something about holding the art and like flipping through it and experiencing it and following along in the form of pictures, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't know. Like, it just clicked. You feel me? Like it just felt right. Steven says my first graffiti was drawing on uh, mustaches on naked women in porno man. <laughs> <laughs> good. I right, bro, I think that's all of us, dude. That's funny, dude. That's hilarious, bro. Nothing but little fucking devil horns and shit on them, right? Uh, also, uh, the homie Gonga, he asked. Uh, he had a great question. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, damn, where is it? Ah, uh, shit, Gonga. I know it was here somewhere. Let's see, let's see. I hate this little ass phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bubble letters or wild style, bro? Ooh, I'm going to say both, bro. Like, now that I'm learning new letters and now that I'm, like, you know what I'm saying, like, learning new styles, I definitely will always let my throw up in my bubble letters, but it's time for me to grow up, bro. I, like, wild style is something I'm practicing more and more of every single day, bro, like, that shit is dope. That shit is nice. A uh, word up. And since we're talking about uh, likes and dislikes, that's a perfect, uh, perfect opportunity to get into the my favorites game, right? <laughs> I bet. You know, I just need an answer, brother. Uh, your favorite. So this, this, this ain't complicated shit here. All right, let's get it. Right. I got you. I got you. Let's go. Favorite food. Chinese. Uh, is there anything more specific than Chinese? Okay. Orange chi Japanese. Orange chicken? Oh, what? okay. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to say egg rolls. Egg rolls. All right. Vegetable All egg right. rolls. Yep. And vegetable egg rolls. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Right. Favorite music? Hip-hop. All day, baby. Hip-hop. That's right. Hip-hop. Hip. Uh, favorite car? Uh, I don't know. I'm not into cars. All right, or or truck or vehicle. Uh, okay, fine. I'm gonna say the DeLorean from fucking Back to the Future. Oh, DeLorean, that's what's right? up. Right, Hell that's what yeah. I'm saying. I yeah. like that. I like that. Right, answer. right, right. right. <laughs> um, I I know I haven't asked it, but I know you like comics books. So yeah. favorite comic book title? Spider Man. All day. Sp Damn favorite. right, bro. Favorite archive, The Superior Spider-Man. Issues 279 through 285, the best. Mm. Damn, Su Superior Spider-Man, 270. Yeah. Y'all hearing them? If y'all ain't hearing them, y'all better make go, go and follow them. Rip Cycle. Rips yeah, underscore bro. Cycle. <laughs> Check them out. Don't do Either yourself a disservice. Or the Clone Saga. Either the Superior Spider-Man Saga. Oh, or, yeah, yeah. Or the Clone Saga. Either, clone either one saga. of those two. Yeah, man. Yeah. Scarlet already. Spider. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ooh. Here Love we go. Piece. Here it. Here, just for you, bro. Just because it's reachable. I see right there, bro. Ben O'Reilly. That's my dude, bro. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's, that's what's up. up. Uh, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Very. Yes, I do. Do you believe in UFOs? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen one or the other? I have. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, I have. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, which one? Uh, I didn't see a ghost, but uh, I did feel like some shit, bro. Like, oh, in, sick. Uh, Arizona, I was living with my aunt at the time. Long story short, I went to the bathroom, and she was having, like, work done on her kitchen. And... The tools were still in the kitchen and shit. I go to the bathroom. I use the bathroom. I'm walking out. And I hear, like, the bus saw just go, like, I like, just, like, just turn a little bit. I was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, nah, fuck that. I walked into my room, and I felt, like, water coming up off the floor. So I ran to my aunt, and I was like, yo, that like, I was pounding on doors. I was like, what the fuck? Like, there's water rising from the floor. I heard some oh, shit, shit move in the kitchen. I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. Yo, I'm, I'm bugging out. Yeah. 
I'm banging on the door. And she's like, what the fuck? Da, 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 da. We go to the living room, turn on all the lights, bro. Like, everything is just quiet. There's no water on the floor. What I'm the like, fuck? fuck that. Yeah, I'm like, fuck that. No, I'm going back to Cali. Fuck that. No. <laughs> Ponga yeah, sense it's a cucuy. <laughs> Might as well been, bro. Might as well been. Dude, fuck, man. Um, couple more questions, man. Man, that's fucking yeah. dope. Uh, I mean, that's scary, dude. That ain't dope. That's kind of oh, fucking fuck scary. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you saw some shit, man. Definitely had well, yeah. Cocaine's I a mean, hell of a drug. I, yeah, I mean, I heard some shit. I felt something, but like seeing it, oh man, I would have shit my pants, bro. I would have been like, fuck Damn. it. Like, yeah, I would have been like, fuck it. Just take me, bro. No, you already got your eyes on me. Fuck it, just take me. <laughs> just fuck take that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, a uh, demon out here, bro. Yeah, no. If you were an element, uh, natural element, earth, wind, water, fire, which one would you be? Earth. Yeah, earth. Favorite color and three reasons why you like it? Green. Green was a uh, sad story, but like my ex-girlfriend got me into green. Fuck her for that, but I fucking love green. Green is a dope-ass color. Uh, it's actually the color of my phone case because I just fucking love green. And it's the most marker color shade I have. It's because I love it that much. Like I have like every shade of green here, like neon, black, dark, floral, like fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got it. So yeah. green will always be my favorite. Yes, sir. This guy's a fucking con artist. As he says, I know there's something out there. I took a shit once. <laughs> He's like, and I swear to God, I heard a plop. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Steven says, Steven, fuck one for psycho. You would lovely eyes, babe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. So, hey, I don't know, man. Sometimes people are weird. People are strange. <laughs> People are strange no, when you're a stranger, good. they say. Um, we got some more questions, though, man. Um, yeah. We got con artist one more time. He says, ever tried any sculpting? Uh, actually, yeah. I, uh, like, when I would have, like, my artist block, and, like, I wouldn't know what the fuck to do, and I would take, like, a year break, whatever, and then, like, I would always take up something new, like, whether it be sculpting or, like, uh... I used to get like Play-Doh and used to make like toothpick figurines and like, like sculptures of figurines. You know what I'm saying? Like just something to keep my hands busy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I liked architecture in high school and I thought it was cool. So like I would build the Eiffel Tower. You feel me? I would build the car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. But sculpting, I did that as an elective in high school and it was cool, you know, like at any point in my time. I could have switched it out if I wanted to, but I actually really liked it. I didn't really know much going into it, and I didn't really pay attention to it. But watching other people do it and, like, how they're, like, just focused on it and they're, like, in their own zone. And it could be loud as shit, bro. It could be, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's loud. And they're just, like, and they're just, like, calm, smooth. Like, so then people think different, bro. Like, they have a whole different mindset, so. So sculpting is really cool, actually. Yeah. That's what's up. Uh, King Ganga is asking: uh, lime green or olive green? Ooh. Olive. Olive green. Oh. All right, all right. Hey, that was pretty, pretty fast, pretty fast answer. I thought <laughs> it was gonna be more complicated. Uh, we got the homie uh, Shake. Uh, shout out, Shake. Uh, Lawson. Uh, I guess. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. It's late. It says, uh, do you ever use pencil on a collab or piece you'll... Uh, it says, do you ever use a pencil on a collab or uh, a piece you are unsure about? Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, yesterday, on the live that I did yesterday, I did a piece with pencil first before I, I did it in paint. So? So... Yeah, I like if it's a piece or something that like I want to like take my time on, then yeah, I'll, I'll go in with pencil. But if not, I'll just straight markers. Now, um, when it comes down to like pencils and art and all that stuff, is there any yeah. 
anything, any tips that you could uh, give people wanting to start it, start doing it? Uh, hmm. I mean, like, what I would recommend, uh, damn, that's actually... Damn! I, oh shit! I mean, here let's let's, let's put it a, let's put it a different way. If um, what's up? If you could get if you could go back right now, and and talk to yourself when you were first starting out graffiti, what would you tell yourself? Take my time. Stop trying to yeah. rush it. You feel there me? Like, stop trying to like like stop copying niggas so much. Fucking like pick up a book and do your research and stop just. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop copying all these dudes who took their time to make their shit. And you're just coming over here swiping that shit. You know, it's like, you're not valid for that. Like, I would tell myself, don't be discouraged too much. You know, like, it is a process. It is going to get better with time. You just have to, you know what I'm saying, trust the process. You feel me? Like, that. that's like some real shit. And uh, I would also tell myself to take a break every now and then, bro, because I think from when I was, like, 16 to like 20 like i was pushing myself to do graffiti like those solid four years bro i was just like tag 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 hit up this hit up that tag the pole right here do this do that tag on the bus real quick like even if i wasn't making stickers at home i was like tagging up on the streets so you know i'm glad i did that because like i don't need no one's validation because i know i did that shit you feel me yeah yeah so that's pretty much so, what I would say to myself is just take your time. Like just right. don't don't try to rush things, just take your time because you don't know where you're gonna go. You know what I'm saying? So just yeah. Relax. Oh, that, that's some great advice, man. As a uh as a graffiti artist, what's something that you always carry on you? Uh well <clears throat> so damn, like <laughs> that's kind of a crazy story because uh, that story is actually what that, that the answer to that question is holy shit. Uh, so, what I always have around me is I have a picture of my homies before I moved here. When I left the city, uh, yeah. I had two boys, you feel me? Like, they was my boys. Like, like I fuck with them niggas on the daily, you feel me? Like, they was my go-to, my boys. Like, like I broke bread with them, you feel me? And uh, when shit hit the fan, you feel me? Like, you know, personal shit happened between me and my shit. I had to move out of state. So I had to say goodbye to all my homies. I had to leave, like, all my childhood friends. I had to leave, like, the city that I grew up in, you feel me? Like, the shit that birthed this whole graffiti shit, you know? And, like, I moved to a whole new state. And having those pictures just keeps me going or just has me, like, damn, bro, like, don't forget. You feel me? Like, like I know it sounds corny, and I know it sounds like, ah, oh, this nigga on some Disney shit, you feel me? Like, yeah, I, I, I get it, but... uh. I don't really need much to feel validated, you feel me? Like, I don't even need to feel validated, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know who I am, I know where I come from, I know what I did, you feel me? Like, the shit that I did was meant for me and me only. So, as a graffiti artist, ex-writer, I have those pictures in my wallet that I hold dear to myself. Like, bro, you could take my phone, you could take my fucking pens, you, you, you could take all my shit. I, I don't give a fuck, you feel me? You could take all that shit. But Just give me them pictures. But like, if you take my, I swear, I'm scrapping to the bone, my G. I swear, I'm beating the shit out of you. Like, I'm talking about Spider Man. Yeah. I'm talking about Spider Man when he almost killed Kingpin. Like, I, like that. Oh nigga shit. Serious. That nigga serious. Like, I will beat you down. Like, don't, don't fucking take my pictures. You can have all my other shit. My shoes. I don't give a shit, my G. Take that shit. Yeah. Out. Fuck. But just not that, bro. Like, and that's real personal. You feel me? Like. Cause I don't mean to get like all like that, but like, yeah, like, that question or that answer, those pictures really mean a lot to me. And it's not even like some like, oh, it's a, I bet it's a picture of a piece he did on the wall. Like, nah, it, it, it's a picture of me and my homies getting drunk and we're all like smoked out 
in my front yard and we're singing karaoke and shit and we're just like fucked up. You feel me? Because yeah, it was my yeah. last day in LA. So I would show it, but you know, I'm not going to get too deep into that. But yeah, those pictures, man. Love them. I got to have them with me. All right, all right. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people carry uh, pictures of their loved ones or talismans and stuff like that. You know yeah, what man. I mean? So I, I get, I get it, man. That's a, that's what's up. A lot of sentimental yeah. value to your homies. Loyalty, 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 loyalty. Yeah, right? I'm telling you, man. Like I'm telling you, bro. Like them niggas helped me get a good job. Like we all used to go to the arcade and like, and like just like fuck around and play pool. Like I'm telling you, bro. Like them is my boys, man. Like my best friends, man. Best friends. Word, word. Yeah. Um, what are some of your art goals, man? That 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 you have and shit. What do you What do you want to accomplish within uh, I don't know, next one or one or five years? Is there any shit. any major goals you're trying to reach or? Honestly, man, like on the real, uh, I am in works with. Well, uh, they are a graffiti shop on Instagram called Raw Ink. Uh, I'm working with them. Them dudes is really, really cool. Uh, I don't really know what... Because, like, as far as the whole Instagram art stuff, I'm still working my way into it, but, like, I still know what I want to do with it. You feel me? It's just I want to take the correct steps. Uh, so I guess to answer that question, I would say to learn as much as I can about it, to understand it more, to, like, find ways to be more, like, interactive and not just some boring guy who's like, all right, it's a Tuesday night, 10 p.m. again, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, like, I want to, like, make sure that I'm giving something back and not just saying, hey, like, just watch me because I'm broke and I'm trying to get out of the hood. Like, ah, my voice cracked. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just, I don't know, like, I guess if that makes sense, you know, like, that's just something that I've been wanting to do for a while, so. Show for show. Uh, the homie Instafine has a question. He says, throw these straight lines or dinner with Jay-Z. Give me the Jay-Z dinner, bro. What you talking about? Like, yo, Ooh. yo. It's Man, I, 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 I'd probably do a throw away on Jay-Z. How about that? <laughs> Fuck Jay Z. I like, said I'll it. Be like Jay Z, like it's it's Jay Z, bro. How you gonna hit on Jay Z? This nigga I'm gonna hit on. I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go like bah, baby. Get your <laughs> bitch ass shit out of here. Like I'd be like, damn. Shit. I grab it. I grab his fucking <clears throat> forehead and just a big old zim out, man. <laughs> oh, fuck Jay Z. I said it. And <laughs> that's all good. It's all good. Yeah. 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 Now I'm not I'm not a big fan, bro. Now, I was ne never a big fan of Jay Z. It's all good. <laughs> this man said, this man said Yeah. Yeah, fuck Jay Z. I said it again. Three times the charm. That's how much I dislike the man. You know, I expect, and then and then he then he has the audacity, bro, to take fucking Kanye from us, so but that's Man. not his fault. That's Kanye's fault. So fuck Kanye <laughs> too. Damn. I'm not a big fan of Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Like people were like, "Why are you not a fan of Kanye?" Nah, bro. I'm not a big fan of Kanye. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. See, Steven. Steven knows what's up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Steven knows what's up. I fuck with Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with him. Yeah, it's cool. It's whatever. Man, the, it's all good. The, the, the best joint I ever liked to Jay-Z was Big Pimpin', bro. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. And besides that, yeah. Shit, no, I was just never, I was never a fan, the, bro. It's a hard not like. Oh, oh that, yeah. Like, hell, mm, this, like, mm, it's a hard. I be, hell, yeah, head bobbing in bro, the car and shit. Man, dude, yeah. it well. The reason I dislike this man is because when I was coming up, you know, I was I was in the hip hop, right? So yeah, I'm not talking about. There's hip hop. There's that commercial hip hop, and then there's that yeah. underground hip hop, and then there's that so, real shit. Yeah. You know, so that underground shit, you know, that b boy, that hip hop shit, you know, that four elements. Uh, yeah. We're talking about MCs, you know. When when you say MC, if you're reading off a fucking phone, that's not freestyling, bro. Freestyling, yeah. you know. So. Me, top, be, right. me, yeah, me being that into that world and shit, you know, it's like when I heard Jay-Z, 
I heard this motherfucker spit shit that <clears throat> other rappers were spitting. I'm like, wait a minute, this line, what? I'm like, I don't know, Jay. I don't know, man. Okay, One time it's okay. cool, but a few times it's like, ah, oh, all right, bro. It's like, all right. But I get it. <laughs> Enough about Jay Z. Y'all, right, y'all know right. I hate Jay Z by now. <laughs> oh. But let's let's keep going back to you, man. Let's so so we could go <clears throat> ahead and wrap this up. We got a few more questions to get by. Um, for sure, for sure. This is a great question. This was something that I was gonna ask, uh, but. Uh, Let's see, uh, Wenz, shout out to Wenz NYC, says, what's one of your favorite things doing growing up besides graph? Um, Shit. So, so what was that, man? Uh, or let's put it now. Let, let's, let's put it now. Uh, in today's world, if, if, when you're not creating, when you're not doing graffiti, bro, what are you doing, man? How do you spend Shit. your time? I, I mean... Most of my time, well, like, I don't want to get too deep into my personal life, you feel me? Like, yeah, yeah like, like, I do have an actual job, a good paying job. And, you know, I have shit I do besides this whole, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. if I'm not doing this and, you know, I'm tending to my personal life, or, like, I'm doing what I got to do. On my downtime, I, I'm probably, like, watching Frasier for, like, an hour and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> like, pretty <laughs> much, man. Like, yeah, like, uh, but I love to binge watch shows and, like, you know, right. like, uh, like, I don't want to say, like, documentaries, but, like, little, like, small documentaries, like, those is fucking cool, like, a quick 20-minute one or a 15-minute one, like, those is just, like, damn, that was nice. Uh, podcasts, I love listening to podcasts, bro. I could be going uh, on Instagram, just, like, looking at people's shit, you know, just, you know, chilling, and uh, I just got, like, I'll have Super Mega, if y'all don't know Super Mega, they're, like, this cool YouTube channel, they just talk about regular shit, you know? Like, just okay. regular shit. Yeah. So, Super Mega is, like, one show. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, uh, UFO. UFO has a podcast that I'm also subscribed to. Uh, if y'all don't know UFO, he's a well-known sticker. I don't want to say God, but he's just a well-known sticker, like, legend. You know, like, I can't describe it in any other word. Like, he's a legend. He's been doing this shit for years as far as the sticker game. Like, when I came in, I saw him doing, like, hand drawings on 228s. Then he evolved into making prints. Then he evolved into making his characters. So I was like, whoa. Like, to where he's at now, he has a fucking podcast. And he has side. And he has check. And he has center. And I'm like, people that I saw on Instagram coming up and learning Instagram he has them on his show. I'm like, holy shit, that's dope. So I have Damn. UFO in the background. Always have UFO, Super Mega. I'm listening to either hip hop or jazz, and that's pretty much it. I don't like to go and watch the news. I don't really like to watch like TikTok videos that much. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So I just tend to stay away from social media and like, you know what I'm saying? Just take that break. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Strip, Strip says uh, he got a question as well. It says uh, it's not necessarily the reason I haven't said it's because it doesn't really. Uh, it's not really about you, right? It's more he's asking me a question, and he says, uh, "Zima, what made you want to do this interview?" I'm not sure if you're asking uh, this type of interviews or the interview with the homie. Uh, Psycho. If you're asking with Psycho, it's because I heard him with the homie live with Seven. I dug his energy. Um, <laughs> you know, you seem like a cool, cool down to earth dude, bro. Thank you. Appreciate and you fucking, you know, your your work is it's dope. Um, Thank you. You know, and you met the criteria which I look for <laughs> when I bring on a guest. You know, I'm looking for when I bring somebody on the show. I'm looking for certain things that I need to see from the artist. Uh, if you don't show it to me, or if I don't see it, I'm not going to ask for it. But if I don't see what I want to see, then I probably won't hit you up. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but if you're asking about the show, uh, a friend, he will take a while. Oh, get out of that. Oh, but that's right. Uh, and if you're asking what, what got me into doing the show, then I just pretty much like talking to other artists, right? 
Yeah, and that's that's it. That that's pretty much the basic answers. <clears throat> It says, uh, Mr. Con Artist, once again, uh, oh, this is, a, this is a, actually, let's go with the other one. I like this one. Uh, he's asking, uh, how many graffiti pieces have you abandoned due to almost getting caught? That's a good one, man. Hmm. So, like, sadly, I wish I could answer this question, but I've never done a piece on a wall. The closest thing I've ever come to with a can was a throwy, uh, but... I never really could take the time and like find a spot because growing up in that time, not only was I trying to get up in the streets, but I was trying to do it while maintaining my household. You feel me? Like, like I was trying to survive in LA. You feel me? So yeah. like, yeah, I wanted to get up, but at the same time, I was like, I can't miss this fucking bus. Cause I don't want to be late for work and my check will be, you feel me? Like, so, uh, throwies was like my favorite thing to do. Like if we can, and I always had two cans. It was always black and white. I never had anything else besides those. But uh, I can say I tried to do a tag one time uh, on the T-Mobile gate because T-Mobile put their gates down because it was raining. And I had to catch that bus. And I had like 10 minutes left. So I waited for the bus to come. And at the last 30 seconds when the bus was pulling up, I, I popped the can out and just, you feel me, did my shit. And uh, I'm putting it in my bag. And the cop pulls up around and he sees me putting my can in my bag. And he sees me, like, just stepping away from the wall. So I was like, fuck. Damn. So I got on the bus and just, you know, I did my little cross. And I was like, pray to God, I don't get caught. Damn. But thank God I didn't. <laughs> thank God I didn't. Real yeah, fuck. Let's see. Zwen says, uh, shit, my fucking landlord name is Zimmerman. <laughs> Hopefully it's not <laughs> the one who shot that uh, Trayvon and shit. You know what I mean? Ah, damn. But my name ain't Zimmerman. It's Zimmer. Or Zim. Or Zim mm. Zimma. Y'all heard Zim the fucking... Zimma. Yeah. Exactly. Y'all heard the fucking song. Just like the song. Uh, shit, let's see. Let's get through these. Uh, if... Oh, man. Of course. This guy says, <laughs> if you were a sheep <laughs> and you've seen a fine-ass female sheep, are you smashing? Are, are, uh, aren't sheep... Aren't all sheep girls... Or what's the male sheep called? Is there another name for that? I don't know. I, I'm not good with animals. It's it's like a cow, right? The, the, the cow is the female, right? The bull is the guy, right? I, bro, I, I don't guess. know, man. I I, we, I, I, I live in the city, man. So asking the wrong person <laughs> and shit about sheep. Uh, shit, I don't know, bro. Uh, this uh, let's see. Six is asking, how do you know sore? Ooh. You don't have to answer that. You could. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, Sword, dude, like, me and Sword go back, I want to say, at least a year, bro. We talked before about collabing, but, you know, he was busy doing his work, I was busy doing mine. And then, you know, after some time, we didn't talk to each other. But then when I got a chance to hit him up again, it just worked out. And uh, we, like, and as far as the RGB boys, we saw him and his, like, his style and, like, how dope his shit is. That we asked him if he wanted to be a part of the crew, he said yeah. So I guess it just worked out. Like it just worked out a lot in the end. Or there you go, man. Is uh you know as as we get closer to uh, the wrapping time, maybe another uh, four or five minutes here on the clock and shit. Uh, yeah. Is there any any anything you that I missed that maybe you want to promote or uh, or shout outs to anybody, man? Um, actually, shouts out to the RGB boys, you feel me? Shouts out to all of them. They've all been putting in work. I know that they don't post. Uh, that, that page, to me, I feel like you just have to wait and see what they do. So the RGB boys are cooking. It's just what they put out takes time. Uh, shouts out to old dub crew all day. Old dubs, you feel me? We do that shit all day. We out riding, you feel me? Uh, mm -hmm. Shouts out my boy Kays, that's my dude. We coming up with a little collab coming in. It's an anime collab too, so I feel like a lot of people are gonna really be into that shit. Uh, we have some full color anime shit coming in too. Like we're really getting down to the printing shit and you know finding the whole like right size of the printout, how it's gonna work, how it's gonna fit, and if we do make labels for it, maybe selling some. That's you know that's a long if you feel me. 
but uh, yeah. that's what we're working on right now. Uh, what else? I am still doing sticker trades, but uh, right now my sticker trades are closed. Uh, I have like 12 packs that I have to get out. Uh, if y'all don't believe me, I have 12 packs that I have to get out because I haven't gotten to them yet. And if uh, somebody wants to collab or maybe get something from you that just hit you up, DM? Yeah. Like if y'all want to hit me up, um, I'm always down to trade, but uh, right now they are closed. Or if you want, you can hit up Cy. Go check out his YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel. I sent in so much slaps from him. He says he has like thousands from me and the RGB boys and the old dub crew. He has shit that I sent him, like, from Soar. I sent him shit, like, Lance. I sent him shit uh, from OAKs. I make sure, like, when I send him shit, I make sure I send everybody with him. So it's not just me. I'll send him, like, 10 of my shit and then 10 of everybody else's. So, yeah, so he has a shit ton of my shit. So go trade with side. He has that shit going back and forth. So shouts out to that, man. He's keeping that shit going. You know, and uh, I shout out to everybody else, everybody who made it out here, everybody who's in here, man. Shout out to you guys for coming in, spending some time with you, uh, getting to know Rip Psycho and spending time with me. Yours truly, right? And uh, shout out to the room, man. This is one of the funniest fucking rooms I, I, I've seen in a minute. Uh, <laughs> hashtag free grandma. So there you go. <laughs> hashtag free grandmama. Yeah, grandmama. Get out of the box. <laughs> Get out of there. Get grandma out. Yeah. She ident- <laughs> what did he say? She identifies as an attack helicopter. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, she that's, for fu- <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Uh, Rips, bro. Um, man, thank thanks for coming on. And once again, yeah, thanks, man, for, thanks for uh, having me, bro. Dude, this was so much fun, man. This was probably the most fun I've had in a while, bro. Like, I was taking this whole Instagram thing serious, but like when I'm talking to you guys, bro, it's it's fun, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, man. I I, I mean that's what it's about, right? I, I it's especially the graffiti. I mean, graffiti world, it's it's fucking cutthroat, right? It's it's out, yeah. you know, fucking bomb the town red, fucking you know, go off city and shit eventually, um, right? But but you know, it, it's a cutthroat. But it, it, if you got a community, if you got people that 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 you could come with. You know, fucking from all over the world, man, and share some tips and shit. Shit will make each other grow. That's that's the whole point of this, right? Is for all you motherfuckers to grow from from the right. shit that we're we're doing here, right? right. Um, you know, sometimes there's artists that are more advanced than you and I are, and they might not even fucking care what we have to say. But at the same time, on the same spectrum, there's people who are starting out or people that have no direction. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to all my sheep fuckers out there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking room, man. It's funny, man. It's, it's the late night, man. That, that's why we get away yeah. with this shit here. It's the yeah, late dude, night. Dude, I'm surprised these people are still awake, man. Like, people in here, man, like, I have a fun time with these guys, man. Like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Life. I don't even know what I'm getting like, but I, I love the energy. I love how people <laughs> get the jokes. Even though I don't get the jokes, you feel me? They always <laughs> explain it to me. So shout out to these dudes, man. For Insta, bro. Insta says, uh, Tupac <laughs> cares if don't nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling shit. you, man. But I don't even know. Y'all motherfuckers are hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. 3 a.m. All right, man. Well, hey, dude. That, that brings us to a, to a wrap, man. Uh, yeah, thanks man. again for for fucking uh, joining us today on this on this uh, fucking late night and shit. I'm fucking I'm out of. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, we we gotta definitely do this again for for two, man. Uh, I'll I'll hit you with a little heavy hitting questions on the next one yeah. and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but definitely. definitely, yep, yep, definitely had it had fun. Uh, you know, rest in peace, nine eleven. But remember, I. Uh, it was an inside job, and Epstein didn't kill himself. So, damn, right, right. there. Yeah, yeah. But that, but that's about it. No, no. But for in yeah. all seriousness, though, man, thanks again, dude. Um, you know, yeah, if, you, course, if you if you, if you ever want to come back, all you got to do is ask, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, if the people want me here, 
you know what I'm saying? If they want me here, and I, it's it's not about the people. It's not what they want. It's 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 what you want. All right, no, remember exactly. that. I feel that. It's not what they want. It's what you want. Uh, as that. for me, yeah, yeah, that's how it is, man. Uh, if uh, for all you guys uh, interested, tomorrow uh, at two p.m. Central, we got the homie uh, Tone Death guy coming on, and then Monday, I I want to say eight p.m. Central. Uh, we got the homie Dr. Valencia's designs. Actually, he's not a doctor. Those are his initials. Uh, oh, nice. Initials. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Yes. Valencia is coming on, and that's going to be Monday. So it's a triple threat for uh, chatting with Zim. Make sure y'all like, subscribe on YouTube, yeah, check out yeah, the yeah, archives, yeah. get all the archives, chatting with Zim, uh, therealzimzimma.com. Here's a, a glimpse at something that's coming uh, in a couple weeks. I haven't shown yet, but... There oh. you go. That's a little sneak peek for all you Naruto fans out there. Are you anime fans? Are you little pervs? Are you, are you little, little pervs? Little wee <laughs> pervs out there. There you go. Hit me up for if you guys want a private or um, if you guys want a uh, one before the uh, the date that it comes out in. You know, bro. That's bro. That's nice. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Thank you, man. Yeah, of course, and, man. And, I love that. That's dope. And that yeah, that's it, man. You you guys uh, you guys know the deal. This is episode number one fourteen. Chatting with Zen. Make sure you guys go and uh, follow the homie Rips underscore Psycho Monsters Appreciate Art it. Clan Live with Seven, um, the Drawn Con Show. That's the homie kind of artist graphic design uh, right there. And uh, everybody else, man, thank you all for joining. To the next time, yeah. we out. Trust Peace. the process, y'all. Peace.